Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. For the Omni Sire, we have an awesome, awesome Knight Styrix for you guys to check out today. Uh, Adam, who's the artist who's worked on this project, has absolutely knocked it out of the park with this phenomenal scheme for our client, which includes some really cool custom freehand uh, and absolute the highest attention to detail across the miniature. Let's jump in and have a look at this behemoth in all its glory. Um, right from the get-go, you can see this incredibly vibrant blue colour and it's covered in weathering. It's all been hand-painted on uh, just to add that extreme high-density detail on the miniature couple of key points that really do like you've got the subtle sort of bloom there on the volkite weapon uh, and the red accents on various armor panels as well just to add that kind of tinge of colorway the gold on it looks exceptional with a really really good worn beaten very steampunk-esque kind of worn gold as well um, across the miniature and we'll just pull it forward so you can have a look at some of these areas of detail to start off with now if we look at the gold across the uh, sort of various parts of armor paneling you can see it's got that very baroque kind of feel looks very worn very ancient which uh, is very much in keeping with this mechanicum kind of finish on the miniature um you've got a couple of little bits of freehand just to start there's a lot of freehand on this model that i'll show you guys as we go through it obviously all the weathering is freehanded on it's all done with a brush um but you've got little bits of freehand like for example the fist there with the little sort of halo there um and then moving around here you can just see the the lovely glow on this volkart weapon here um and again just so you can see some of this uh, weathering that's been done on various areas of the armor panel and you can see the lovely lovely attention to detail and natural weathering that's been painted on the miniature we'll move around the back and i'll save all the freehand till last for you guys to see all the gold work and copper work has got some little bits of verdigris on it around all the rivets and all those extra little details which just really adds that ancient narrative to the mini miniature itself uh, just get that to focus for you guys apologies uh, and then obviously you've got the banner in between the legs is also the divided half red and black on the back side which is just really nice uh, subtle bits of verdigris in areas of the gold work and copper work and again you've got that really really cool awesome awesome freehand it's kind of weathering that's across the model on all the areas of the armor paneling with streaks rust and grime done on all of them absolute hours of detail that have been done on this um, and then let's have a look at some of this awesome freehand that adam has done on some of these shoulder pads so our client requested kind of like a dragon uh, on the on the pads and you can see we've got this very oriental-esque kind of dragon that's just sort of flowing on these two lower portions of the pauldron and then we've got this huge dragon that's just on the uh, on the top center of that uh, that shoulder pad there while we're here we can have a look at some of this weathering that's also been painted on by hand uh, again hours has been spent just doing all of this weathering by hand across the full carapace and armored skeleton of this uh, of this awesome knight styrix uh, we'll do a top down view just on the top of the carapace just so you can see the attention that's been put into all these individual little chips and details across plus a lovely scattering of verdigris across all the gold areas of the model um, the other pauldron has got um, a uh, another like the uh, loincloth in between hanging down You've also got that fist again with that halo that's just been painted on that pauldron just to carry that kind of personal knightly heraldry that's just on this Mechanicum Knight. Um, but overall, a lovely finish to this miniature. Uh, as for the basing, we've got uh, just this urban kind of battlefield with uh, sort of uh, rebar and barbed wire just sticking out of the, of the bits of concrete and chunks of concrete. I do really love the attention to detail on the faceplate and the lenses on the head as well. You can just see those really lovely amounts of highlighting just to show that ocular kind of bloom on the lenses. Every little lens there done, uh, even on the little sort of uh, turret there or little shoulder sort of weapon that you can see the little lens is done on there. Um, and again, the shield generator has just got a little bit of uh, verdigris done on that just to show that it's an ancient beaten copper. But a phenomenal night uh, that we've had the absolute pleasure on. It's now off to go and absolutely dominate for the Omnissiah. I do hope you like this one. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. 
While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Seeds channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.